Um, Mark, any new reports coming in there in the Weather Center? Uh, looking at uh, pea size hail being estimated outside of San Marcos and in between San Marcos and New Braunfels, um, up to one and a half to two inches now possibly coming in. Uh, and this is between uh, just outside of Hunter, what it looks like. Uh, if it's in between San Marcos and, and New Braunfels, there. Yeah, there so you go. So one and a half to two inches. I believe it. So this mm -hmm. is our, he's talking about hail over Hunter. There it is. Our radar, which can differentiate between rain and hail. It's super cool. Uh, it's showing ping pong ball size hail, which is not cool uh, if you're over I 35 or in the Hunter area. And I'll animate this. Uh, remind folks, uh, Mark, if you could. Look at this, it's coming right towards San Marcos. So what do we have to do as far as hail goes while well, we still have a couple minutes here in San Marcos up toward Kyle? Uh, get your vehicles inside, get your pets inside. You want to make sure that uh, you stay away from windows because again, this is the kind of hail that can blow out those windows. I noticed too, uh, David, looking at where this storm is heading, it is heading due towards the San Marcos outlets. That is a yeah. very popular part of uh, San Marcos. Uh, most uh, most stores should be closed by now, but again, this is uh, a lot of hotels have gone up around this time. Sure. Uh, there's uh, lots of restaurants, all that kind of stuff. So hopefully people have taken our warning and are getting to their shelters and are riding this storm out safely from the uh, comfort of your home. Uh, ping pong ball size hail, though, is what we've reported in parts of Leander and Pflugerville over the past couple of weeks. So sure. again, this can definitely cause damage and it's heading due uh, almost parallel now to I-35 straight into the San Marcos area from the south. Again, that's near the San Marcos outlets. If you are near that, make sure that you're taking shelter.